Oh, this might be the biggest one yet. What's going on YouTube? Doing the intro inside the truck today because it's pretty windy out right now. I'm actually meeting Sean and Aiden. I uh, linked up with them like a week and a half ago fishing Sunset Point. Got to meet these two kids and they're out here. Invited me to fish another local pond we've tried a few times before. And it's looking... It's looking tough. They said it's been a slow morning, but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna change that. So I've got a few things that I probably need to tie on. I really don't have much going right now. I need to tie on probably a black and blue chatterbait, and then I've got a crankbait on right now. And between those different colors and different style baits, I think we could get some have some luck. And then I'm also gonna throw one probably just Texas rig and see what happens. You know, it's, it's always a toss up how they're gonna want it. So we'll see what they're in the mood for this morning. As it is really windy. Check this out. We picked this up. Uh, today's Black Friday, but last night they run the specials early over at uh, Dick Sporting Goods. And we've got this Fate Black Combo with the Origin Reel. 90 bucks with tax. And it's a 7 1 medium heavy fast action Fate Black rod by 13 fishing with the Origin Reel, which I've never used a reel that has centrifugal braking. It's always been the magnetic systems or, of course, the DCs that you guys see in my videos a lot. Check out the new rig. We know there's some big catches. We might want to get some quality footage here this morning. Don't forget your tackle either, guys. Sometimes you leave that in your vehicle. I just want to get in there, so I'm gonna fish this trench hog because I got it ready. It's too windy, y'all. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I think we might have to go with the crankbait whether we like it or not. Guys, a lot of times when you're using these crankbaits that dive down, you don't want to fish a spot like this because you, you know, you're gonna be dealing with all this vegetation right here at the shore. But all you gotta do is, as you get close to it, you just stop cranking it. And these square bill crankbaits, they float, so you just stop cranking it right about the time, and you'll get your timing down after you do it a few casts, and you'll figure out right where you need to kind of stop the crankbait, and he'll float to the surface, and you just pop them right over the the weeds there. You gotta be careful with them treble hooks. Might have a knot before your day begins. The wind's blowing this way, so I think I'm gonna make my way over to that side right there. Right into the wind. That's what we got the DC for. Oh! Do we got one? See, that's the thing. They're gonna be over here because the wind's blowing. What's up, man? What's up? How are you? <laughs> Good. Good. I gotta grab my pliers, it got them good. Oh, yeah. um, do you? Yeah. Oh, I, I should have known. Thank you. I'm saying I'm about to switch to a black and blue chatterbait if they don't hit this soon, like go from light to dark but still moving. All right, just linked up with my first one. I'm gonna get back in there. See if we can't snag another on the crankbait. Got one. Got one. On! Might be slightly bigger than the last. Yeah, he's a little bigger. Let's go get him weighed. <laughs> What we got? I would say two and a half. Just over two and a half, y'all. He's 262. Nice. Second fish of the day, man. They're coming quick. This guy's a two and a half pounder. Let me get one little shot for the gram. And then we good. I was feeling like this spot might not work with how much crap is right in front of me, but you know. <laughs> Sean linked up with the solid one right here on the crankbait. <laughs> nice dude. You got him on a different color than I have, right? Yeah, it's like that shad, shad pattern right here. Nope. Oh, you are <laughs> in it. Well, the shoes took a hit, y'all. All right, they're hitting the cranks. I gotta get back to my side. Let's get back after it. Got him! Oh, this might be the biggest one yet. Oh shit, I mean shoot. Flopping off the hook, come here. Jeez! 
Golly! Barely got a hold of that thing. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. He hit that right at the bank. One more to hit in that same pocket. This guy's probably two something as well, or right at it. And uh, man, they're just going after that crankbait today. I've had hits on the crankbait like this in a while and consistently good fish. I was thinking this guy might have been one of the bigger ones when he sideswiped it. The white belly looked pretty good, but uh, ended up just being all right. On me. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> we sank two. How's that wind sound, by the way? I was fishing him in a little slower, keeping the rod tip a little bit lower. So I think that was a good call. I think I was bringing him in pretty quick, maybe these last 10 or 20 minutes. In between that second and third fish, I didn't really have many hits. Sometimes you get caught up and carried away. And I might have been reeling a little too fast. So, power tip. Y'all wanna try and cast this? But if we crank that baby up to where it like just barely doesn't fall, now it should just be like, sick, right? Oh. Man, I think we're gonna wrap things up. Get in and get out. We caught four fish in like an hour and yeah. a half. Yeah. Probably, probably an hour and a half. Information on the rod and reels we used in the description if y'all wanna check it out. You know what I decided before we end the video? We're gonna actually uh, take the new Fate Black Combo into Field and Stream while everything's 25% 20, uh, off today for Black Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna get some line put on here and then I think I'm actually gonna get some more Guggen baits because I don't have a ton on hand at the moment and I'm gonna do another Cyber Monday giveaway for you guys. So, how you doing? Just got her spooled up with suffix 12 pound monofilament. Gonna be my first time throwing mono line on a bait caster uh, that I own, I believe. Snagged us more packages of Guggen baits. I'm gonna go ahead and do another giveaway and I'm gonna announce the winner on Monday. Okay, so in a few hours, I'm gonna announce the winner of my current giveaway on Instagram, but also I'm gonna be posting this one up later today and promoting it hard throughout the weekend. That way you guys have another chance to win some new Guggen baits. Y'all on the next one, hop over on Instagram and enter to win. <gasps>